It is late spring on Kodiak Island, Alaska. The air and the water are growing warmer, and the locals have returned to feed. But even against this monumental landscape, all eyes are on the horizon for one of nature's most graceful giants, the gray whale. It is here that they begin and end the longest migration of any mammal. 12,000 miles from the icy waters of the Arctic to the warm lagoons of Baja, Mexico, and back again. Gray whales have a narrow, tapered head and a streamlined body. They surface only for a quick spout and breath before disappearing back into the ocean. Instead of teeth, gray whales have baleen, which is like a thick comb made up of long, fine hairs. Diving to the muddy bottom, gray whales scoop up sediment from the ocean floor, filtering out water and mud and trapping plankton and krill. In the 17 and 1800s, whalers in search of oil, meat, and baleen hunted gray whales to near extinction. In 1946, an international treaty was signed to provide oversight and management of whale hunting. But it was under the protection of the Endangered Species Act in 1974 and NOAA's careful management since that the Eastern Pacific gray whale recovered to a sustainable population. Today, nearly 24,000 gray whales continue their annual migration along the coast of North America giving humans a glimpse of these majestic creatures that live in the deep. <laughs>